sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Growing up, I used to listen to John Denver all the time, and, and I was a big John Denver fan. And um, I remember bringing in Sunshine on my shoulders to Michael Rafter, and he was a little, he was a little bit like, Sunshine on my shoulders. And I was like, just, just, let's just, let's just look at it, and like maybe we can, you know, turn it on its head or reinvent it or something. One of the lyrics in the song is, "If I had a wish that I could wish for you, I'd wish for you for sunshine all the while." And um, so at first I thought, I, I thought of the title of um, "If I Had a Wish," which would be maybe, you know, and then it it narrowed down to "Wish" because "Wish" is also in several of the other songs. So "Wish" just seemed like the perfect title. I never went. I really wanted to do an album for a long time. I grew up listening to, my, one of my biggest influences was um, Liz Calloway's uh, The Story Goes On album. And uh, I remember just listening to it over and over and over again and trying to sing like her and just, uh, I always wanted to do it. And then through the years people have been asking me, when are you gonna do an album? And it just didn't feel like the right time. And then this past year, it just felt like the right time. So in May of 2008, I recorded the album and then it's coming out on February uh, 17th. I knew I didn't want to do a big brassy Broadway album because uh, I, um, and maybe I will in the future, but I knew that for my first album I didn't want to do that. It was an, a collaboration with me and my musical director, Michael Rafter, who uh, was the musical director on Thoroughly Modern Millie and we've been friends ever since and, um, and have worked together since then. And uh, so it was a real collaboration of both of us coming together and, and picking this material. It's basically a, um, a collection of songs that mean a lot to me and that are, it's, it's personal and it's, uh, it's the way I, it's the type of music that I like to listen to, the type of music I love to sing. And, and so it's a very, um, you know, personal expression of, of me. And so it's, it's been, it was great to work on something uh, where I had basically it had a lot of creative control, and, um, so I'm really excited for people to hear it. When this old world starts getting me down And people are just too much for me to face I climb way up to the top of the stairs And all my cares just drift right into space Up on the roof came um, we were looking for summer feeling songs for a concert I did um, at Joe's Pub called June in January. So we were, because January sometimes I get the blues and we were trying to bring a little bit of summer into January. And uh, but then once we started really discovering the, you sort of think of Up on the Roof as kind of like, you know, like a ditty or, or then once you really listen to the lyrics, it's, you know, when this old world starts getting me down and people are just too much for me to face. I climb way up on the top to the top of the stairs and all my cares just drift right into space. I get far away from the hustle and crowds and all that red race noise down in the street. The idea of finding solace in the bustling city all alone with you and the stars and maybe someone will join you and it's like the most, it's like such a song of, um, uh, it's so beautiful and simple and, and, and also um, a song of like, uh, you know, we can sort of make it through anything that that's, that's we're up against in this crazy city and that can drive me crazy. and. There's, there's a place where we can find peace, and so it's really like a song of, of peace, <laughs> finding peace amongst the madness. It says that love is long gone, every move I make 
is all wrong Says you never gave a damn for me Or anything, or anyone One of my favorite songwriters, singer-songwriters, is Patty Griffin. So I knew I wanted to do a song by her, and Nobody's Crying is one of my favorite songs. It's the story of a woman being, um, uh, being on her own, uh, the loss of, a, of love in her life, and, but wishing her partner uh, well in, and in his quest of what he needs to discover and, and hoping that there is a place in the world where nobody's crying. Just have the secret hope And sometimes all we do is call But somewhere on the steepest slope There's an endless road And nobody's crying I love the song, I think she's genius and I, I could have recorded, I could have done a whole album of all of her stuff because I think I love everything she's ever written. My Heart Was Set On You is actually a song written by um, Jeff Blumenkrantz, who actually wrote it for me and for the album. And that, that's the, uh, the only original brand new song um, on the album. The first time he played it for me, I just like burst into tears and, and um, he's like, I hope you like it. He's like, don't look at me while I play it. You know, and I was sort of like, okay. He started playing it and I was like, boo. <laughs> and, and I was just like, I can't believe you wrote me a song and I'm going to record it and this is just too much. And it was just uh, an incredible song and I'm uh, just, it just uh, was like a real, you know, dream come true. A psychic swore you weren't the one for me. She couldn't find you in my aura as I sat there in her room. She said I shouldn't play the bride to your groom. I got her message loud and clear Then shoved it out the other ear Cause my heart was set on you My heart was set on you Why would I believe a bunch of tarot cards were true When my heart was set on you uh, yeah, there is a difference between going out and playing Fiona every night or standing in front of a mic and being, you know, being Sutton Foster and, and uh, but then at the same time it's very empowering because I, as much as I, I want people to like this album and I want people to be, you know, I want people to like it, but the most important thing is that I like it. And so when putting it together, I, I thought, well, I can't do this for anyone else but myself, and so if I like it, and if I'm proud of it, then it doesn't matter what people say. It's a small window in, into uh, what I like and, and who I am, so we'll see. Without all the, the glitter and the false eyelashes and the wigs and the lipstick and, you know, it's about it's as raw as I can get. Then you came and caused a spark that's a four Just have